Where's me spinach? It's in Where's the olive oil. oil. No. Kind of sounds like Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs> Where's me spinach? <laughs> you mean uh, Peter Dinklage from uh, Avengers Infinity War? <laughs> when he was the That's giant right. dwarf? Get it? Because he's a real the dwarf, so they made him really big. <laughs> Where's Thor? Tree, where's my spinach? That's how I get really big. <laughs> you think Peter Dinklage ate a lot of spinach for Avengers Infinity War? It's the only thing that can make him grow to that hold size. Hold up, hold up, yeah. hold up. And, and at the end of Infinity War, spoilers, Thanos snaps his fingers and half of the population disappears. That means also half of the spinach population must have disappeared too. And since Peter Dinklage didn't have enough spinach, he couldn't film for Endgame. And he wasn't big enough. That's my headcanon of why Peter Dinklage was not in Avengers Endgame. Well, if we ever get Joss Whedon on the show, you can ask him. He didn't direct that. He was Who too busy with Infinity War. The Russo brothers. Oh, I, for a second I thought you said the um, the Fine brothers from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't fine, <laughs> trust me. No, no, not the Fine brothers. I'm, I'm thinking back but to... The I'm thinking back to Peter Dinklage's character from Infinity War. <coughs> Can we just say that that was one of the best roles ever put in a comic book movie? Can we just agree right now? Yes. No, you're he absolutely had, he right. He had these two metallic fists. Thor, help me wipe. I've been stuck here. I mean, I think, there's um... no other people that lives on his planet anymore, so he doesn't have to worry about running out of toilet paper, but he just can't use it. He has two iron fists. And they have spikes on them too, I believe. Like, it must be painful. If you ever play Persona 5, there's a character who has spiked fists. I won't say any more. I don't want to spoil anything for you. What? What's the spoil? He helps Thor get an axe? Oh, no, I'm talking about Persona 5. I'm talking about Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage is in Persona 5. Persona! I have to go number two! Thor! (laughs) Help! <laughs> Turn tree into to toilet paper. Him. No, he uses the hammer to wipe him. <laughs> I have to use my the hammers I make to wipe Thor. It hurts. <laughs> Should have gone for the head. Yeah, he, yes, the, Peter Dinklage in Infinity War. I can imagine him making <laughs> some sort of like iron diaper. <laughs> Using his tools to craft an iron diaper. I mean, that's really convenient because all you don't have to ever replace it. You just have to wash it. You don't ever have to replace it. It so, make it might get rusty if you keep I, you know, I, washing I, it. I can imagine <laughs> Thor going. You just don't try it, Dimitri. Help me craft this axe. Thanos is on the loose. I'm still not done with my diaper, <laughs> Thor. They have to oh. wait. <laughs> Can I, they have I need, to wait for him. They need him to try Ew. it out first. So they're sitting there as he's going in his iron diaper. All right, guys, let me test it out. Oh, I, <laughs> he'd probably ask you to try it on first, Brandon. <laughs> hey, Brandon, try this new technology out. I think I'll get a Nobel Prize for it. I don't think it's technology. <laughs> well, anything's technology if you think about it. A pencil is technology. So why can't an iron diaper be for a super large alien giant? I'm sorry. I don't like to put iron diaper in the same category as computer processor or (laughs) ventilator. (laughs) I'm on Facebook. I just saw a picture of a man's naked butt. (laughs) I'm sorry. It's Peter Dinklage. (laughs) Oh, that's so so big, but so tiny. Hashtag getting ready for the iron diaper. (laughs) <laughs> Stark, help me make the iron diaper. That'd be great if Tony Stark, Stark. Iron Man Four, is yes. I thought you meant the, like <laughs> I thought you meant like Ned Stark. Uh, Peter Dinklage, if you're listening to this, thank you so much for giving the greatest Marvel hero. I think his sacrifice of his own time was a bigger sacrifice <laughs> of t- than Tony Stark's life in Endgame. I, I thought it was amazing. 